and showtime. Glacial moraines, and before we begin, can anybody tell me what a glacier is? Nicholas Kenimoto? Slow snow that doesn't melt. I don't know. Over a year? Yes. <laughs> it's snow and ice that is not melted for like over a year. It's a big body of snow and ice. Um, so what we're going to be focusing on is what happens when a glacier actually slides down and moves because of gravity. Um, as that glacier slides down, um, it scrapes up de debris and rocks as it makes its way down. Um, and that debris and rocks get pushed out in front of the glacier. So for, for example, say my shoe is the glacier and it's moving down down this, this slope here. As it recedes back and melts, it leaves this little this little ridge kind of thing, because uh, it's kind of hard to see, but just imagine this is left because of the rocks and the debris are being pushed out, and as the glacier comes back, they're left in place. And this is what you see right here, this ridge here with all these rocks and debris on it. It's kind of hard to see because there's a lot of shrubbery and plants. But um, also to your right, that's even more difficult to see. Uh, we were guessing that's also a moraine, but uh, when the glaciers move forward and then melt backward, they can also again get more snow and come back so that's what you can see on that ridge there that's going to be the second glacier so it came down first made this melted back up and then more snow came and came down but not as far and created that ridge right there which is another moraine and then when these glaciers melt they leave lakes like this here in pockets of i guess pockets of land yeah so what you see behind you that rock face is what we call a terminal moraine, and that is the backside, and this is like the main product of what is actually happening. So most of the sediment that gets pushed by the glacier. Terminal moraine, glacier. Yeah, terminal moraine. moraine. Yeah. Um, and then the debris that's been pushed to the side, this is known as lateral moraines. And those are the two basic ones you need to know. But there's also one more, which is the medial moraine, and these are pretty rare, but there can be glaciers and sediments that happen right in the middle when it recedes. And be... something that kind of gives away um, moraines are, are rocks that aren't jagged and sharp, because Cole said as they're being scraped up from the ground, that ice is breaking them down and making them less sharp. So if you see a lot of round rocks, I mean, you can look up and you don't really see a lot of sharp edges, so that's kind of a clue that this could have been a glacier, glacial moraine coming down here. So, I mean, it's a little hard to recognize, but it's all about the small clues when you're recognizing this kind of stuff. Yeah? yeah? Oh, mm -hmm. Any questions? Thank you. Can we go over a terminal moraine again? The terminal? Okay. <laughs> um, so, a terminal moraine is basically when the glacier is done moving about this final product at the very end and like that's an example right there it's behind a, that was a glacier before it had gotten melted like, what was the third time on the uh, we medial. only went over two medial. Or, we did yeah oh, lateral okay. terminal or medial medial is rare though it's so medial yeah. is when the material goes away it's when it there's like a, it's when sediment goes in the middle when the glacier recedes it's a rare occurrence but so what's happening here is the glacier went down once melted back, went down again, but not as far, and made that ridge in the middle. So it kind of cut the two little areas that, of, the, of the moraines, if that makes sense. So that's a terminal moraine right there. How would you recognize a moraine from a perspective, like, you know, on a, on a road cut or something? Like, what would that look like? What would you, what would you see in there? Uh, you'd see lots of different kinds of rocks because it is moving. It doesn't really care what it's grabbing. It's just moving across land, grabbing trees, grabbing rocks. I mean, the rocks don't matter, like what kind of rock it is, like, it's just moving, grabbing whatever it can, it's scraping stuff up. I mean, like, the glaciers, when they move, are very powerful, so they'll go through anything you'll see, I guess, just different sediments of rocks, and round rocks. Yeah. That answers your question. Mm -hmm. Can't they, like, cut through granite? Like, uh, isn't that cut through anything. They're in really heavy glaciers. Like yeah. yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it's, a, it's massive, like, this massive whole glacier. ridge was created by a glacier, so... If you think about it, the glacier must have been humongous to create such a large, large, um, you know, ridge like that, Marin. So, yeah.
Thank you.